can it charge a Tesla? It can. So Hello everyone, this is Matt Hoots here and you know I'm building a passive house. And so one of the things with passive house, you have to be all electric, you have to be EV ready. And guess what? I was trying to visit one of our other manufacturers and I saw this really cool EV charger over here. So Kristen's gonna talk to us about it and tell us why their product is versatile and works on every house in the US. All right, so I know the first question you're gonna ask, can it charge a Tesla? <laughs> it can. So most Teslas come with a converter and this is easily adaptable to that. So it is a universal charger like he mentioned. This is a level two charger. This is what we actually refer to as our residential variant. We do have a commercial variant that has a RFID management sticker on the back. I can go ahead and show you on the other side of this, this wall here and tell you a little bit more about how that works. But yes, yeah, so this um, puts out about 11 and a half kilowatts of power. We have a 40 amp as well as a 48 amp version. So you're looking at that 50 to 60 amp, you know, uh, breaker needed and required. It does require uh, a 60 or 50, you know, amp breaker per charger. It can be wall mounted or post mounted. So we do have post mounts as well as dual post mounting and as well as cable retraction systems to help too if you're looking for more of that commercial application. So as mentioned, this is our residential variant. Um, we do also have more of the commercial style as I mentioned with the RFID management. So if you're looking at payment, billing, things like that, um, typically charges within like three to five hours. So this is, you know, depending on the vehicle and how much power you're really pushing out. Um, so it really just depends, but uh, it's a great, great charger with so much versatility to it. So whether you're looking for residential or um, commercial, we also have a full line of chargers as well. So we do go up to like the DC fast charging where you're looking at 50, 75, up to 175 kilowatt. Price varies, obviously changes with that. Um, and then we also offer um, heavy duty charging for um, buses and large transits and things like that as well. Now in residential, sometimes the capacity of the house, like you just don't have a large, large enough service coming in. Uh, do you guys have like batteries as well that can come along with it? We can charge a battery, run off, run this off the battery, or is it strictly the charger coming off the grid? Um, it's, it's pretty much strictly coming off the grid at this point in time, but um, there are, you know, chargers being produced out there and stuff. And, you know, um, between like a partnership, you know, that we, I don't know if you guys saw the recent uh, news, but uh, we definitely were um, a partner and collaborator of the Ford F-150 Lightning Charger. That's an 80 amp charger designed specifically for the F-150 Lightning. And that's an 80 amp charger. And what's so unique about that one is that it does tie into actual like solar panels and things like that on the home where you can um, tie them through an inverter and that way you can have sort of that bi-directional flow sometimes of energy. Now that's the Ford that actually will run your house if the power goes out. That I that's heard. that bi-directional flow of wow. energy. Yep. So, so you guys were part of that. We did help support them in, in, in creating that and um, we, you know, manufacturing that as well. But yeah. But it starts with here, like you can't run, can't run your house off of your truck until you actually use one of your products to actually charge the truck. It, it, this is the charger is the conduit, right? Got it. Yep, absolutely. So it's good stuff. And, and where can people find out more information about this particular product? Oh, come to my fun www.usa.siemens.com slash VersiCharge. All right. Well, I appreciate your time. Hey, no, thanks. thanks for stopping by. Appreciate right, it. No problem.